Okay, in this lecture, we are going to talk about thermodynamics temperature scale. We know that the, the concept of a thermodynamics temperature scale from the ideal gas equation of state, where the temperature we need to use in the ideal gas equation of state is actually the, the, the thermodynamic temperature scale. However, here we're going to talk about the thermodynamic temperature scale in a different perspective the Carnot heat engine perspective. Okay, the Carnot principles actually provide a theoretical basis of a thermodynamic temperature scale. We know that from the Carnot, heat, uh, Carnot uh, principles, the efficiency of a reversible heat engine that operates between two thermal energy reservoirs is, uh, is a uniquely determined. So if you have two thermal energy reservoirs, then you have a, a reversible heat engine, then the thermal efficiency of that engine is uniquely determined. Now, if we can think of the characteristics of uh, thermal energy reservoirs, what are they? What, so what, def de what defines a thermal energy reservoir? We know a thermal energy reservoir is something. It's a big. It's a body of uh, of mass that's uh, able to absorb heat or uh, of gi or give out heat without changing its temperature. So the only thing that does not change of a of a uh, thermal energy reservoir is its temperature. That said, we can see that uh, if you have a reversible heat engine and it operates between two thermal energy reservoirs, the thermal efficiency is uniquely dependent on the temperatures of the two thermal energy reservoirs. We can write this general equation to, uh, to show that relationship, the thermal efficiency and the, the temperature of the thermal energy reservoirs. Okay, um, we can also see that uh, because of the, the physical definition of a thermal efficiency of a heat engine, this, we see that uh, the, the ratio of a QL over QH, the ratio of a heat transfer between the hot reservoir and the cold reservoir, it's a function, it should be a function of uh, the temperature of the, the temperatures of the two reservoirs, okay? Now, when you think about this, you actually have a way of a, uh, of a defining temperature, which is something we call the thermodynamic temperature scale because it relates to the thermal efficiency of a heat engine. Imagine this. Okay, imagine this. You have a low temperature reservoir. The only characterizing property of it is its temperature, TL. And you also have a um, and let, let's say you know the TL, you know it, you have a, when we measure temperature, we have to have a reference. Let's say you have somehow defined the TL, and you, you say that's the, the my reference temperature. And you here you bring a high uh, temperature thermal energy reservoir with a temperature that you need to define the, based on your thermodynamic, term, thermodynamic temperature scale. So how do you do that? There are various ways of doing that, but here, using the Carnot principle, we can do this. We, we can think of a reversible heat engine. Okay, this is a heat engine that's reversible. And uh, the heat engine will do this, will take heat from the high temperature reservoir and then will do work. And it'll dump heat into the low temperature reservoir. Now, technically or theoretically, we can measure the efficiency of this heat engine, right? And if we also define a functional relationship between this ratio, or how if we if we fix a scale that relates the thermal efficiency and the temperature between uh, and the temperature of these two uh, heat reservoirs, we actually have a way of uh, defining the temperature by knowing one by knowing a reference. Uh, by knowing a reference temperature and having the ability to measure the thermal efficiency of a heat engine, then we can actually we can actually uh, 
define another temperature. So this provides a basis for defining a thermal temperature scale. Okay, so that's the general idea of relating the efficiency of a th of a heat reversible heat engine to the temperature of a uh, of a heat res heat reservoirs, or rather, to use the thermal efficiency of a heat engine to define uh, thermodynamic the thermodynamic temperature scales. However, what we do is typically the other way around. Is it is we when we have a uh, we know the temperature of a uh, if we know the thermodynamic temperature scale and if we know the temperature of a th of a, of two heat reservoirs on a thermodynamic temperature scale we can actually calculate the thermal efficiency of the heat engine directly using the thermal uh, energy th using the thermal energy reservoirs temperatures we have in we could have a infinite number of ways of uh, defining the relationship between the thermal energy uh, thermal efficiency of a heat engine and the thermal energy reservoir's temperatures the simplest relation would be something like this let's just to uh, make the ratio of uh, the heat transferred between the two reservoirs equal to the temperature of these two reservoirs on the thermodynamic temperature scale. So this is a phi, the ratio of these two heat transfers. This is the the definition we use in thermodynamics. Okay, and then therefore, using this definition, using this definition between the thermal energy efficiency of a reversible heat engine and the, the temperatures of a uh, heat reservoirs on a thermodynamic temperature scale, we can directly, we can conveniently relate the thermal efficiency of a Carnot heat engine, which is this, with the th temperature of, a two, the, of the two reservoirs on the thermodynamic temperature scale. We already know that uh, the thermodynamic temperature scale, uh, the, the Kelvin uh, temperature scale, is related to the Celsius temperature scale through a difference of uh, 273 degrees, uh, 273.15 degrees. And uh, we also know uh, one Kelvin difference is equal to one degree difference on the Celsius scale. We also have, a, we could have a uh, a different way. Uh, we we could have an infinite uh, number of ways of uh, defining the thermodynamic temperature scale, as, as I just mentioned. And in the so-called English system, the uh, the uh, thermodynamic temperature scale is called the Rankine scale. It has a uh, it's a one. It's called a one Rankine difference is the same as one degrees Fahrenheit difference. And uh, the two temperature scales is different. Differ they differ by 459.67 degrees. And also we should know the uh, one Kelvin uh, difference is equal to 1.8 Rankine difference. That's the relationship between the two thermodynamic temperature scales. Okay, as I said in the beginning, the use of the thermodynamic temperature scales was something that uh, we already knew before when we learned to use the ideal gas equation of state in which the temperature <coughs> is the thermodynamic, uh, thermodynamic temperature scale of a ideal gas system. Now here we have another use for the thermodynamic temperature scale, which is to calculate the efficiency, the thermal efficiency of a, a Carnot heat engine or of uh, the coefficient of performance of a Carnot refrigerator or Carnot heat pump. So we can use the thermodynamic, the thermodynamic temperature, uh, temperature uh, thermodynamic um, temperatures of uh, the two heat reservoirs to calculate, to uh, calculate the thermal efficiency of a Carnot heat engine that works in between these two 
heat reservoirs. Uh, this is the equation that we use. As we can see, this tells us the higher the, the temperature of the hot reservoir, the higher the temperature of the hot reservoir, or the lower the tem temperature of the cold reservoir. So either you de increase T sub H or you decrease T sub L, you can increase the thermal efficiency. So when T L goes down, T uh, eta re re reversible increases. If you keep T L constant and increase T H, then eta reversible also increases. So this is the call. This this is so called a Carnot efficiency. That's a the thermal efficiency of a heat engine that works in between two thermal energy reservoirs. And by definition, that reversible heat engine must be a Carnot heat engine. And we also can tell that the, uh, the refrigerator or heat pump that works in between two heat reservoirs, we can also calculate their coefficient of performance using the temperature of the two reservoirs. In this case, the coefficient of performance of a reversible <laughs> refrigerator is equal to 